Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on AWS Trusted Advisor. So what is AWS Trusted Advisor? One, AWS Trusted Advisor is an online AWS service that provides real-time guidance by analyzing your AWS environment and offering best practice recommendations. Trusted Advisor scans your AWS resources and how you use them, identifying areas for improvement across multiple categories. So the tool organizes its recommendations into five key categories, ensuring a comprehensive analysis of your AWS infrastructure. And those five categories are cost optimization, performance, security, fault tolerance, and service limits. So I'll be covering all these categories in detail in the next few slides. By highlighting unused or underutilized resources, Trusted Advisor helps you optimize cost and reduce unnecessary spending. The tool, provides uh, the tool provides suggestions to enhance the performance and reliability of your applications running on AWS, ensuring optimal operation. Trusted Advisor identifies potential security weaknesses in your AWS environment, helping you maintain secure infrastructure. The tool keeps track of your service usage and alerts, and alerts you when you are approaching service limits, preventing any unexpected issues or disruptions. So Trusted Advisor Access by Support Plan. So basically there are five different plans, basic, developer, business, enterprise, on-ramp and enterprise. So basic everybody gets uh, by default if you have an AWS account. So basic or developer support. So if you have a basic or a developer support plan, you can access all checks in the service limits categories. So within service limits, you, you are uh, you can have all the checks in the service limits. So there is only one category, and there are six specific checks in the security category. So only two category, and one is whole, the complete, which is service limits, and out of security, only six are available for basic and developer support. And this is uh, free, uh, f uh, this is free of cost. Like uh, f um, so, there are no cost. Then we have business enterprise on ramp or enterprise support and with with higher TA support plans which are these you have full access to all trusted advisor checks via the console and the AWS trusted advisor API. So you can check in console as well as you can integrate with your third party tool or uh, whatever service if you are using some other service or integrate with your corporate um, portal or uh, some kind of alerting or mechanism through application performance management or some other tooling. You can also use the APIs which are available with Trusted Advisor. And additionally, you can use Amazon CloudWatch events to monitor the status of Trusted Advisor checks for real-time updates and automated actions. So we'll just go over some of the checks in each category. So this will not be exhaustive list, but this is just an indicative or a representative list just to give you an idea of what checks are available and you can basically check the document because the number of checks are quite huge. So first is, for example, low utilization on Amazon EC2 instances. Then you have idle load balancers. Then any unassociated elastic IP addresses. Then underutilized Amazon EBS volumes. Inactive AWS web application firewall rules. And Amazon RDS idle DB instances. So this one falls under cost optimization. So basically you are paying, but you are not using it. So it's underutilized. So that's why they, it falls under cost optimization. Next checks are performance checks. So high utilization Amazon EC2 instances, EBS volumes with high queue lens, large number of rules in an EC2 security group, root 53 alias resource, uh, root 53 is, uh, alias resource record sets. Uh, root 53 latency resource record sets and sixth AWS Lambda function functions with high error rates. Third category security checks. Uh, first one is uh, security group specified ports unrestricted. So something like SSH or something or if you have given public access by 0000. So that is one of the example. And uh, how are you using IAM? So this is IAM usage in general. Uh, third, for example, uh, have you set multi-factor authentication on root account or not? Then I am password, password policy. How strict is the password policy? 
and Amazon S3 bucket permissions are they too relaxed or are they public? Uh, fifth, last one is AWS CloudTrail logging. Whether have you have enabled it or not? Okay, next uh, category fourth under fault tolerance. Amazon EBS snapshots. Uh, uh, whether you are taking snapshots, Amazon RDS backups, uh, Amazon Aurora DB instance accessibility, auto scaling group health checks. A load balancer optimization and VPN tunnel uh, redundancy. So this is under fault tolerance. So so basically, whether you have VPN tunnel uh, redundant connections or not, or whether you have uh, auto scaling group health check setup or not. So basically, th through this all this mechanism, you can increase the fault tolerance of your applications. And uh, fifth category service limits checks. So. For example, service limits for Amazon EC2 instances. So, are are you um, are you uh, going over uh, over the limit of number of EC2 instances in your in your account? So, service limits for Amazon EBS volumes, service limits for Amazon S3 buckets. So, this is basically there is there is an upper limit like thousand, five thousand, whatever. So, it's basically checks whether you are close to that or not, or it should alert you or not. So, because you have some automation built in, so the, if you uh, if you call those uh, automation. Probably your application or your automation will fail. Same service limits for Amazon RDS DB instances, service limits for AWS Lambda functions, service limits for Amazon DynamoDB tables. And this is uh, something new which is operational excellence. So this is actually sixth category. Uh, and uh, some uh, operational excellence, uh, for example, are AWS Trusted Advisor recommendation history, AWS Well Architected Framework reviews. AWS support API usage, AWS personal health dashboard open issues, AWS config rule compliance, and AWS systems systems manager patch compliance. So they are fall under uh, your operations or, or, or the operational excellence. Okay, next is uh, enabling organizational view for AWS trusted advisor. So um, you can actually uh, trust, trust, trusted advisor works across the organization in the sense not just one a single account but all multiple AWS account which are part of a single AWS organizations. So uh, so organization organize, organizational view enables you to view trusted advisor checks for all accounts within your AWS organizations, providing a centralized overview of uh, entire organization status. With this feature, you can generate reports that consolidate the check results for all member accounts in your organization, making it easier to assess the overall health and compliance of your AWS environment. The generated uh, reports include a summary of check results and information about affected resources for each individual account, which allows you to quickly identify potentially potential issues or areas that require attention. By leveraging the organizational view, you can easily easily determine which accounts in your organization are utilizing AWS identity and access management through IAM use check, for example, and ensuring proper access control and security best practices across your accounts. And fifth, the organizational view also enables you to review recommended actions for simple storage service S3 buckets using Amazon S3 bucket permissions check helping you maintain appropriate access controls and protect your data stored in S3 buckets across your organization. So these two are the example about whether S3 buckets have proper uh, bucket permissions enabled or not, are they too relaxed or second one was the IAM usage, whether you are using IAM use or you are, you are just using direct um, user account, not using for example roles or groups or the best practices around IAM. Okay, next uh, feature is AWS Trusted Advisor checks powered by AWS Config. So basically, you have Trusted Advisor, uh, which is integrated with AWS Config uh, rules. And AWS Config uh, is a service that that continuously assesses, audits, and evaluates your resource configurations against your desired settings, ensuring compliance with best practices. AWS Config provides managed rules which are predefined and customizable compliance checks that AWS Config uses to evaluate if your AWS resources comply with common best practices. You can customize the behavior of a managed tool to suit your specific requirements by defining attributes 
that your resources must have to comply with that rule. AWS config managed rules provides, uh, sorry, AWS config rule, AWS config managed rules power a set of trusted advisor checks across all categories. When you enable certain managed rules, the corresponding trusted ad advisor checks are automatically enabled, streamlining the compliance monitoring process. So basically, uh, we have AWS config, we have two types of rules, managed rule and custom rules. And those can be uh, tracked via a tr trusted advisor checks. So those checks will in turn leverage the config rules. And th those checks will, uh, uh, in the single dashboard, you can see whether, uh, like you, if you have created some checks, uh, to see uh, how 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 much is your organization compliant with the config rules within the trusted advisor dashboard. Okay, next uh, feature is AWS Security Hub controls in AWS Trusted Advisor. So it's similar pattern, similar to what we have seen in the previous. So this one uh, previous was uh, AWS Config, which was uh, being was part of AWS Trusted Trusted Advisor. Now we are seeing Security Hub also controls uh, available in Trusted Advisor. So after enabling AWS Security Hub for your AWS account, you gain the ability to view your security controls and their fi findings directly within Trusted Advisor console. Security Hub controls can be used to identify security vulnerabilities in your account, similar to how you would use Trusted Advisor checks, providing a comprehensive view of your security posture. Within the Trusted Advisor console, you can easily view the status of each Security Hub control check and status of each security hub control check and access the list of resources affected by identified vulnerabilities. Security hub provides actionable recommendations to help you address any security issues discovered by the controls, guiding you through the process of improving your account security. And this integration allows you to conveniently conveniently access security recommendations from both Trusted Advisor and Security Hub in a single location, streamlining your security management efforts. Okay, similar to previous, now we have AWS Compute Optimizer also for Trusted Advisor checks. So you can bring in AWS Compute Optimizer and this is an opt-in service, so you have to opt-in for this. Because AWS Compute Optimizer is the opt-in service, I mean to say. So you have to opt-in, uh, you have to enable that and then you can uh, see that in Trusted Advisor. Okay, Tr Compute Optimizer examines the configuration settings and usage matrix of your AWS resources to assess their efficiency and reliability. The service provides insight into whether your resources are optimally configured for efficient and reliable operation. Compute Optimizer offers recommendations on how recommendations on how you can enhance the performance of your workloads by optimizing resource configuration. The optimization recommendations from Compute Optimizer are conveniently accessible within the Trusted Advisor console. You can choose to enable Compute Optimizer for just your AWS account or extend it to all member accounts within an AWS organization. And the checks which are available are the two categories, cost optimization and this includes Amazon EBS over provisioned volumes and AWS Lambda over provisioned functions for memory size and under performance Amazon EBS under provisioned volumes and AWS Lambda under provisioned functions for memory size. And that's all. Thanks for watching.